Hello critters, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Let's get right into it, uh, guess who's back? Chris Chan. No, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, here's my intro. So if you don't know, Chris Chan was in jail for a while. Well, if you don't know who Chris Chan is, then again, like I, you're very lucky. I there's a lot of history on her. It's a whole big thing about the internet, kind of like making her into this whole lol cow thing, and basically manipulating her and enabling her to the point of her doing some really kind of screwed up things. Not even really kind of screwed up, like actually very screwed up things and it's a really bad situation but she recently got out of jail and basically for a while she was radio silent and i made a video a while back talking about it because i was concerned but also i was pretty happy that she didn't see me online she seemed to be doing better i guess and after everything you'd think that after everything that happened and everything that she did and of course we know she did some things to her mother her elderly mother and that was really screwed up so you think that she'd be receiving some kind of help for that and so basically after she got out of jail she was seen a few times walking around you know with a person who we assumed at first to be some kind of caretaker but there's been some speculation lately that it might be like a girlfriend or something, but we're not sure about that at all. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really know what's going on there, but that's not that's not very important here. It's just a matter of I thought that she could have been a caretaker to Chris Chan and that this could have been something good for her helping her through the situation and making sure that she was doing better and kind of taking uh, taking care of her, you know, like someone who is assigned to be like a caseworker even. And yeah, we hadn't heard from her for a while, and it was, I don't know, like a month, two months, and we were all kind of talking about it, like, that hopefully she might be offline, hopefully she's receiving the help that she needs, because before everything, and even while she was in jail, she was having a lot of issues with understanding reality, and basically she was thinking that there was this whole dimensional merge going on, and that she's some kind of god, and this is just textbook. You need psychiatric help, I think. Like, not even in a mean way. I, I mean that she really needs help because it's, it really took a toll on her. And it makes it made her a danger to people around her, like her mother, because I think that that separation from reality had a role in what happened there. And it's, it's really kind of upsetting to see. So basically, what happened... 10 minutes ago from me recording this, sorry if this is a bit of a messy video, I am kind of in shock right now, so I just wanted to record something quick. She posted, and... oh... I can't. I am looking at it, and so basically I'm gonna go over a little bit, so she says, Second coming with ultimate miracle, chaos control. And she posts some pictures, the picture of her room, with the Sonichu medallion, of course, she had a picture of her, like, custom sonas of herself. She has... Well, I'm gonna go over this one last. She has a picture of her new Sonichu medallion, which looks like an absolute eldritch horror. I don't know what's going on. And her final image, well, the third image in the set, I... It's really worrying because it's, it's her, like, Sonic Sona... And it says, Beware all toxicators, sinners, and darkest demonics. For I am Christine Weston Chandler Sonichu, the goddess blue heart, and your lord and god. And I am, and I personally bring the second coming. I, something like, I am personally bringing the second coming, I think is what I'm trying to say there. And yeah, that's, that's. Really concerning. There's a Bible on the ground, and there's blood, and it looks like I am looking at it now, and it looks like there's like holes in her hands, like Jesus. And I, it's really concerning because again, this is what she was talking about. She was talking about her being the second coming of Jesus Christ, and this is just again, this is textbook. This person needs help. Like this person needs 
psychiatric attention to make sure that they're not a danger to themselves or others. And this is just, I, I can't believe, well, I mean, I can believe with this country's healthcare system, but I, ca I can't believe that this is back, I guess. I can't believe that this is going on again because I, I had assumed that after everything, and with how well known she is, I'd assumed that perhaps she would be helped and like, cause she has such a big online footprint that there's no way that the people working at her case didn't see all of these warning signs. There was miles and miles of red flags before everything happened. And it's, it's a bad thing. And I'm looking at it now. She's getting a lot of likes, of course. A lot of people are talking about it. And what's bad is that people are, people are commenting on it is the thing. And I don't agree with that. I don't think that's a good idea, basically. People are commenting, there's a lot of people going like, Oh my god, she's back! Of course, that's one thing people are commenting, and some people are commenting, Super cool! That's so awesome! The merge is coming! And again, this is- it's- have we learned nothing? I- it's really concerning because this is just showing that people haven't learned in just leaving this person alone. And this is kind of what started it in the first place, is that a lot of people were just going to see how far she would go and how far they could take this situation and see what happened and get, like, entertainment out of it, I guess. And a lot of people were enabling her until that happened with her mother. It's just very upsetting. I, I don't like that people are commenting. I, I don't agree that people are commenting on her posts, like, even at all. There's some people that are also commenting, like, why do you harm the elderly? I don't want to say those words, but, um, it's, yeah, there's, there's also some people that are just being, like, so happy to see you happy and posting, God bless, this one person is saying. Again, she, if she's online and she's able to see these things, she's going to see these comments and see that she does have support for delusions. And it's, it's really dangerous because, again, this is just, this is harassing someone who's going through a mental health episode and has been a danger to herself and others and should be receiving help, which she isn't. It doesn't seem like she is because if she was, then she probably wouldn't posting online at all, or wouldn't be posting about being God, at the very least. And yeah, I guess what I wanted to say in this video, and the point I wanted to make real quick in this video, and the reason I'm making this video, is just I don't think people should be interacting with her at all. I think, I, I know I can't, I don't have much say, people can do whatever the hell they want, but I... And I, I just looked on the post too, it says that only verified accounts or accounts mentioned by Chris Chan can reply, so I'm seeing it's mostly verified accounts replying, which I don't, that's some bullshit. But also, it's, yeah, my main thing about making this video, I just wanted to come out and say it, is that people need to not interact with her, not comment on her posts, not, uh, like, really, 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 like, not enable her behavior and even jokingly say that the merge is happening and stuff like that. Like, sure, you can make jokes about that to your friends and stuff, but not directly replying to this person who really needs help. And again, it can be a danger to herself or others, as we've seen in the past. People are still, I can't imagine that people would still want to be seeking to take advantage of her for getting content or, like, Kind of exploiting her like Bella did, Bella Janky. I just really hope that I there's just a lot of things going on, especially with her with that woman that she was seen with. I a again, a lot of people had assumed that either she was her caretaker or she was a significant other, but people were saying that it seemed to be positive, like this woman seemed to be helping her to like her grocery cart had like better food in it and like people had to assume that this person was helping her and helping her stay offline and helping her mental health but this this post itself just proves that she hasn't received that help and that she's perhaps being enabled by this person i don't know who this person is don't know who this person is at all and it's i'm a little more concerned now because if this person's sticking around her while she's saying and doing these things 
and letting her say and do these things, it's really concerning because either that person could be enabling her. I just really hope that this is a one-off thing and maybe this post will get taken down and that she'll be kicked offline again because this is just a really screwed up thing for her to be posting and it's really screwed up. People are kind of just memeing on it and replying and it's not good. It's it's not and people like again like welcome welcoming her with open arms after what she did to her mother. Like again, I do not excuse at all what happened there. I it's the the fact that people are replying and being like, Welcome back, Chris, heart emoji, even if it's like Mimi. It's like that she did something unspeakable to her elderly mother, and that's that's literally not okay at all. And also, not to mention she just she really needs help at this time and should not be online. So I guess that's just what I wanted to say. Sorry, this was a little disorganized. I just kind of wanted to get that message out, I guess, a little bit because I, I'm really afraid of what's going to happen. I can like feel the ground rumbling with like full rushing to beam on her and seeking to get more entertainment out of her, and just what's going to happen next. It's all I'm really concerned about that, and I again I really hope that. My fingers are crossed that this post just like silently disappears and that she goes back to whatever she was doing, being offline and everything, but I don't know if that'll happen. Ugh. Hi, quick update in the video. I just checked YouTube again when I was trying to upload and I noticed that she actually uploaded a video where she just dances around and talks about being God, so I guess that's also an update to the situation. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for today. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I don't really have much else to say. Just just please don't interact with her. Just please leave it alone. Let, let it end. Let her just realize that she needs to get help and that she's not going to keep receiving the attention from before, I guess, is what I'm really concerned about. But anyways, that's about it. So I'll see all critters in the next video. Bye.